Today we're looking at Hydrogen Connects and how they set up their brokerage event as part of the Enterprise Europe network. As both network tables and Hydrogen Connects are part of the EEN, the concept was for two municipalities. Uh, on one side there was the Germans, and on the other side there was the French municipality, and they wanted to meet together to discuss the future of hydrogen power. Uh, before, with their previous solution, they had to fill in a lot of data, and the big problem was they were given a list of attendees, anyone can meet anyone, and they were just told good luck. It was a very time-consuming process. So with network tables, they wanted a new way to do brokerage events, and this was still with virtual one-on-one -on -one collaborations, but with specific groups of people, e.g. the German municipality, meeting with the French municipality on the other side, not just anyone meeting anyone. They wanted to skip a lot of the barriers people have to get into these events, and just to make EEN events where the collaborations are happening very easy to keep engagement very high. And how we did this was make things as simple as possible, um, to meet as many people as possible in a smart way. And we did this with topic-based discussions. Instead of just meeting a person, it's a person who is the host with a topic so that people know what they're signing up for. And as an added benefit, there were keynotes and roundtables for further discussion. And the result of this with the topic-based discussions and the simple one-click process was an engagement rate of up to 90%, which uh, we think is very, very successful. And here we can see how they set up their event as part of the EEN on network tables. People from the German side had one-on-one -on -one meetings with those on the French side to discuss collaborations that they could have. These were topic-based discussions, as you can see here, there is a host and a topic. And that is why engagement is so high and people had more meetings because they knew what they were getting into. Everyone can select who they want to speak to and everyone also has a number of meeting slots, perhaps it's five or six or seven. And then they go into their virtual one-on-ones for discussion and once their first meeting is done, they just roll on into the next one when it's finished. Behind the scenes, the system has structured all of their sessions and schedules to maximize efficiency without everyone having to pick time slots. We think this is a lot better than just sending a message to people randomly and waiting for replies that no one ever answers. Then beyond the one-on-ones, there were larger sessions discussing how hydrogen power can be used in the future. It all starts with the keynotes, where the discussion begins, and then people seamlessly move into roundtables where they can discuss things further based on the topics they've signed up for. And after their roundtables there, that's when the one-on-one -on -one meetings would happen, again, seamlessly transferred. And at the end of it all, there is the closing remarks for a roundup of what's happened and what's next. So to get a better idea of how virtual events look, here's a quick look on the day at how virtual events use seamless transitions between sessions. Your first event is just finishing, and you've perhaps selected some specific roundtables for after. All it takes is one click at the end, and you're immediately transported to your specific roundtables right after. And this is how virtual events seamlessly work with network tables. Another thing, a final thing to look at is the company profile. Here you can see the companies that are involved and make a quick connection to exchange your information if you think they might be interested. So the result of all this was an engagement a lot higher than they'd seen previously with 100% of people who were invited sign, signing up and 90% of people sitting down at the end of the day, which is a very high engagement level for an event like this. So this is how an EEN members structures their kind of brokerage event in order to get collaborations. If you have a similar type of event, then perhaps network tables can help you.